Hey everyone, so this is October's budget with me, and uh, if it looks like I'm wearing the same clothes, it's because I am. I'm, since I was late making this, I'm filming it right after the September budget review. Now, the last few months, budgeting the income has been fairly simple, but this month it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, first thing we have to change here is Google AdSense. Um, and we're actually going to delete this budget entirely. The reason for it, I will still be getting AdSense, but you won't see it here. Uh, after the last payment came through, I switched the account that it's paid into to my new business account. So what's going to start happening is it's going to go there, and then it's going to go first to paying for office stuff. Um, whatever I need for the business. Then whatever is left over, um, or depending on how, I, or maybe a set amount, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, that will then come on here. Um, and we'll, when I do that, we'll set up a category of like business income or, I don't know, YouTube income or something like that. We'll figure out what to name that. But I'll be paying myself from the business account um, at that point. Um, now the paycheck. So far, I've received thirty-seven thirty-five. Keep in mind, I haven't categorized any of these transactions, so you can just ignore um, you know, the amounts that it shows because it's probably not right. Um, with that, I am filming this on the fifteenth, and I think that I'm getting paid tomorrow. I'm supposed to get paid about nineteen hundred dollars tomorrow, but uh, I just checked, and I'm actually locked out of the payroll system right now. Um, so I'm not sure what's happening with that. Um, and then because of the way my last paycheck was, um, on the 23rd, I should have a very small paycheck as well, probably less than a hundred dollars. I am currently on a two week break from work. And because of that, um, when I return, it'll be on the 23rd and I won't have any pay that is coming in on the 30th, which would be the last potential uh, day of pay this month. So essentially I'm going to have this 3735 plus 1900 plus let's say a hundred. Um, so 5735. So somehow even with only having two and a half out of the five usual paychecks, um, I'm still expecting to come out ahead. Seven three five. Okay, so we'll save that, and hopefully I do get paid tomorrow. Uh, if not, I uh, gotta figure out what's happening with that. Um, also, let's see. We will go ahead and make the car payment, um, although it's paid ahead about two years right now. So if I ever do need to skip a month, that's not a problem to do that. Uh, these should all be the same. Um, let's leave the gas budget at. Uh, 75. We're halfway through the month. Uh, I got to take one or two trips home, um, but I, I think this should be roughly uh, approximate. And all of these should stay right about where they are. Um, as of right now, restaurants, groceries, and fast food will still be on the per diem card until that's spent up. Um, so when that is spent up, then, you know, at that point, um, we can figure something else out. No gifts or donations. Looking here at the doctor, uh, you can see that I've already had two sessions this month, and I do have another scheduled on the 22nd, and there would be one more week after that to schedule. Uh, I believe I will have every week scheduled. Uh, that means that this is actually going to be 500 for this month. In the future, probably November or December, this will be scaled down pretty significantly. Um, we're just working on something in particular right now that essentially after maybe, I don't know, three, four or five more sessions um, should be able to get past and I can either stop going altogether or um, be able to maybe go once a month or something like that. Um, and then with uh, mortgage and rent, that's going to be the same. Um, I have paid that. I'm not sure why it shows I haven't. Renter's insurance will be the same. Storage will be the same. 
business expenses. There are going to be business expenses. Um, and I really honestly have no idea what they are. I'm going to put 150. They may be way more. They may be way less. Um, but it's one of those things where I'm going to kind of tell you, I'm going to make a video about it. I'm going to tell you guys what's going on. Um, so we'll see about that. And with clothing, I'm not, I don't think I bought anything. I think that's just categorized wrong. Let's leave it at a hundred bucks. I am going to try to buy some clothes this month because, um, well, I need some pretty badly. Um, I need some jeans. I need some socks. Uh, definitely could use some warmer shirts too. So see what happens with that. Uh, but you know, I'll, I won't go crazy or anything. And then stuff for mom, that's her storage. I probably am going to go visit her next week. So it's possible I could get her some snacks or something she needs for her room, but fairly close to just uh, her storage unit rent price. Um, everything else, of course, we can just ignore this. Um, we don't set budgets for this, but we'll just go back and, uh, be able to um, go through each thing and I'll let you know what it is at the end of the month. I see here that the rent's put down there. So anyway, guys, um, one other thing that I want to include in here, um, because our goals, you see it says it's only taken $177 a month out for those right now. The reason for that is the emergency fund is no longer on here. Now I am still going to be saving toward it. It's just not included in the goals. And the reason for that is because the goal was $10,000. I'm now at about 13,000 savings. So that goal was completed this past month. Um, the next step is I want to save a year, but I don't want to start on that right now because I will soon be getting laid off from my job uh, because it is a temporary job. And I probably will have to until my unemployment starts coming in, live off of savings. So I don't want to set that goal and then get behind on it already at the very start. We'll wait until I have steady income again um, before we set that goal here. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I, because of everything crazy that's going on right now, um, I probably won't have a whole lot of content coming for the rest of the month. The only thing I can guarantee really is that live stream. Um, but I have some other things in mind and if I don't get redeployed on the 23rd after my requested break, well, then I'll be full time on YouTube and, um, I'll bring you a ton of stuff. So we'll just see how it goes.